Hello guys, Matthew here and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. Staying within the budget realm of the latest generation of graphics cards which are currently being sold on the market, today I'll be checking out probably one of the most affordable yet out there, MSI's RX 460 model. This particular model also hides under the 4G OC naming, which in translation means it carries 4GB of video memory and it's factory overclocked out of the box. Beside that you won't find a lot of other information except on the back of the box where you can see some talk about their solid caps technology and the well known topic of MSI's afterburner software together with a brief list of features, minimum system requirements and specifications. Being a pretty much strictly budget oriented model, for the bundle you'll only get this thank you note from MSI and of course the mandatory user manual and optical disc with drivers and software and that's it. And here we have the graphics card itself. Although it carries an aftermarket cooler design, in its core this model has a more or less stock-like cooler design, a humble sized block of aluminium heatsink making contact with the GPU and memory, while blowing over that and VRMs we have a single 90mm fan, which has this pretty interesting sticker design, sort of mix of Aperture and Google Chrome like logo. Other than that, most of the aesthetics falls onto this pretty subtle but still good looking black and white plastic shroud, which hides the aforementioned cooler bits and which isn't getting any help from the other side as this model expectedly doesn't have a backplate. Of course we don't have any LEDs on it or some kind of other special features as well as no additional PCI Express power connectors which is in one hand a good thing since that turns it into a plug and play graphics card without any additional installation hassle while for the video output connections you'll get one of each DisplayPort, HDMI and DVI-D. Putting it into action, checking out the GPU-Z you can see that MSI clocked it at 1210MHz for the GPU and 1750MHz for the memory. In practice the GPU roams around that frequency or just below it while the VRAM speed stays put. Increasing the power limit basically stops that GPU core speed frequency fluctuation and furthermore with that as you can see I went 60MHz up on the core when manually overclocking which is not that high but then again we don't have that additional PCI Express power connector which would bring in more power and potentially better overclock but at least the memory was cloaking pretty high at just below the 2000 MHz mark. Although this overclock doesn't look that impressive it will still bring you a frame or two extra for free so to speak while if you decide to fully unlock it from its original 896 to 1024 shaders with a simple BIOS flash you could easily get to GTX 10 50 performance territory. Speaking of the performance, as with its aforementioned main rival, the RX 460 will give you just the right amount of horsepower as you can basically play any newer game at 1080p and anywhere from medium to high settings while staying in a respectable range of frame rates. Of course, as you can see, it won't blow you away with its performance, but it will definitely get the job done, especially considering its value.
Taking a look at the temperature, since this model doesn't have any kind of 0 RPM fan mode when the card is in idle, GPU temperature during no or light load is mostly under 30 degrees Celsius with fans spinning just below 1000 RPM. Under Fermax stress testing that was somewhere in the neighborhood of 64 degrees Celsius with fan being at 1600 RPM, while under games it was a bit lower, around 60 degrees Celsius and with fan speed roaming around 1400 RPM. PM. Noise wise in both scenarios the card was barely audible and you can for the next 20 seconds hear that sound profile for yourself. All in all, this model is decently well-rounded and straightforward on account of its plug-and-play properties, and for around $120 or even less if you choose the model with 2GB of video memory, this little card will definitely give you a run for its money. That's it guys for this time from me, thank you once again for checking out my review of MSI's RX460 4G OC graphics card. Feel free to toss me a thumbs up if you like this video, it really helps me a lot, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the product, and of course if you would like to see more content like this you can subscribe to the Tactic YouTube channel or you can just check out some of my other videos from before.